Hello and welcome to yet another interview with a very dear friend, somebody who's an icon in Indian sport forever will be. And uh, the first ever Paralympic female medalist from India, currently the president of the Paralympic Committee of India and all of us can see progress. From four medals in Rio to 19 in Tokyo to maybe 30 in Paris. And we know that there is a significant push that is coming from the Paralympic Committee of India and heading it is the lady who's talking to me today, Deepa Malik. Deepa ji, from the time of Rio to now, there is a sea change. Yes, there Absolutely. is change from the Prime Minister, the government, in, in, in terms of the support that you get from the Paralympic Committee. Just take me back. Take me back to when you were throwing in Rio, to when the, when the athletes are participating now. It's chalk and cheese, that kind of difference. Talk to me about it. If I talk to you about the difference from Rio to now, um, well, uh, the first and foremost difference that I can tell you right away, straight away, is that we have more evolved policies. We have more inclusive policies. Uh, the media is celebrating us. Um, the government is celebrating our achievement. Indians are celebrating our achievements, not just in India, across the world. And uh, above all, uh, all around the world, there is a definite attention to the fact that here is a country who has taken the onus to look after their para-athletes, to cheer their para-athletes, to work uh, continuously, consistently, to create better infrastructure and uh, more than make up for the lost years for the para-athletes. So when I see when I see para badminton, I see they are winning medals by the dozen. I see table tennis. I see athletics. So you know your words that and and it is not simply that during the Olympics we are now with you know waking up or the Paralympics or the para Asian Games. Every event is now covered, monitored, funded, supported, and a lot of credit must go to you and your team and you know your secretary general and the rest of the staff and everybody at the Paralympic Committee of India. So tell me about that change, Deepaji, because now every athlete feels empowered. So see, there is no win singularly uh, that can be achieved. There has to be an ardent teamwork behind the scenes, working tirelessly to ensure that athletes are getting their due on time. They're getting their, uh, um, you know, proper training program. They're getting their funding. Their uh, selection trials are held on time. Their uh, uh, participation is taken care of. There is a meticulous planning on which athlete is going to participate in which uh, competition, what is uh, their uh, uh, peaking time, what is their resting time. In short, I think even as a federation, we have started including sports sciences in a lot of research. And at the same time, accountability. Because uh, unless you keep uh, your data, your accountability, and you continuously work towards that in a meticulous planning order, and also a, a very strong focus in time timely done selection trials on strict selection criteria. So uh, we are able to filter the right talent and uh, push the right talent. So we are very happy. Yes, you are right. We are not just talking about the big games. We also talk about uh, the Asian level games, the Grand Prix. There's not a single event in which India is participating and not coming back with medals. So, uh, and in disability sports, that can only be achieved if we are also looking at uh, serious concern towards the disability classification in the uh, under the medical uh, uh, knowledge of uh, giving the disability class to the athletes. So, we are working very hard on educational programs. We are conducting not just the educational programs for uh, uh, India, just us, but we are taking lead as uh, someone who is supporting other countries to come along. We have recently had uh, educational programs conducted for 12 different countries. And, and we have um, invited the IPC uh, classifiers, IPC coaches, a proper International Paralympic Committee program and educational program has been conducted. 
where we have supported the regional countries also to come and participate who are not I, having I will, I will ask you about this in some detail Deepaji because I really need to know yes. more about this education part but before that you are talking about uh, same as me we talked about any type of organs we are talking about medals but <clears throat> the two larger stories one equality in society for yeah. people with disability that is the larger story so when I see a Deepa Malik sitting with an Abhinav Bindra, Neeraj Chopra and being celebrated equally in the same way on a same platform that tells me we as a country are moving. Is that happening Deepaji? The larger story of empowerment is that happening? Are you seeing that change happen? I think I'm seeing um, if there is a word higher than change even that I'm seeing. <laughs> Uh, because you are right, uh, whether these are uh, any programs related to government initiatives, para athletes are made an equal part of it, whether stakeholders are coming forward and holding hands of the athletes, corporate has started recognizing that yes, there is a lot of potential and a lot of scope uh, to, uh, you know, uh, not just support the Indian sporting uh, culture, but also to look good. You know, uh, a, a kind of an organization which believes in inclusion and diversity is definitely looking up to para sports as a medium of expression because this is one direction and this is one platform which immediately declares India inclusive, which immediately gives the health of the society. Because when a person with disability gets equal opportunities and that too an opportunity where the person can create a new identity where they can rise above their body uh, challenges and uh, all the negativity around the shortcomings in body functions by being called fit international athletes or someone winning medals for the country or their respective state. I think this not only symbolizes a healthy uh, society, healthy inclusion, healthy integration, but also gives the true empowerment and self-confidence to a person. This, is, this is the point, what you just said. So am I right in saying that someone, maybe a girl child who is born with disability or who has a, a certain disability can now actually aspire to being an athlete and being recognized and getting equal opportunities like the boys, like men, like the able-bodied athletes in our country? Have we arrived there, Deepaji, or still some distance to go? I know that this is an ongoing process, but and it can never be complete. The day we say it is complete, we have lost the plot. I know that. But is there now a semblance that, yes, we are getting there? See, there is no policy now currently which is being made for sports which discriminates whether to a girl child or a, or a child with disability or a sports person with disability. In fact, today whole day was spent in uh, preparing and planning of inclusion in uh, various other platforms like Halo India and you know we are, we are trying to uh, include para sports in every curriculum whether it is the NCERT curriculum, whether it is the educational curriculum, whether it is the, um, the school syllabus curriculum, there is a talk going on. We recently had a meeting where Honorable Secretary, Madam uh, Sujata Chaturvedi ji said that uh, how about converting every coach of sports that I had uh, presented this suggestion in the meeting and it was so welcomed by all and immediately I was put through to the um, head in the Patiala NIS, uh, Colonel Sahab is there and we are talking about creating a proper education for all the Sai coaches so that there is, um, you know, every coach is ready to coach a para-athlete. So, so we are bridging the gap so fast. So you are absolutely right. Today we are arriving at a place. Of course, we have to continuously work uh, and make sure that every union territory and every state has a defined policy of inclusion of para sports. Slowly, uh, we are taking there states like Haryana, Rajasthan, uh, uh, Karnataka, they are taking the lead. But uh, 
all the states in some way or the other uh, uttar pradesh has recently declared their sports policy which is very inclusive uh, which is giving job opportunities gradation through the certificates it is giving cash rewards so we are definitely getting there and uh, today if an athlete irrespective of the gender age or the background educational or rural any background they're coming from i think they are getting great opportunity to empower themselves through sports okay right. uh, coming back to elite performance so what about the asian games in paris if i put you in the spot as the president i mean 19 in and and unfortunately uh, all of all of us uh, measure success in terms of medals are we going to get the same number in paris can we make it make it say 25 can we make it 30 can we have a show that india will be proud of from what you are seeing on ground um you'll be surprised even in a um, a small event which was of course our attempt to host an international indian open parathletics that we recently uh, held in bangalore and 11 countries participated we became host to 11 countries in the athletics open championship here in india uh, we had two world records being broken. So you can now, I mean, I'm a little superstitious. I don't put numbers. I, no, I, 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 I keep That's my fingers crossed. But the bar is only going upwards. And you're going to see better results even in athletics. Um, already we have shortlisted uh, the team which is going is... Uh, the cream a la cream. Uh, we have had very strict... Uh, selections so either we have asian games uh, gold medal hopes going in the team or we are going the top eight rankings in the world uh, out of which uh, more than 50 percent of the team is in top six positions of the world so hopefully uh, we end up uh, yes in fact uh, there have been two categories where we have had a tough time choosing because only three people can represent and we have had a tie between the third rank and the fourth rank so five five people have qualified but only top three can go fantastic all i will say is more power fantastic absolutely fantastic if that happens yes in paris 2024 i'll be there you'll be there in our conference yes. 25th 26th 27th of august i've already said you are you're the keynote you're one of the keynotes along with abhinav we will celebrate another fantastic games for sure